This is the long awaited video that you guys have been waiting for. We're here to update you about our beloved dog that you guys know as Scar. If you guys are new here, welcome. We are G and B. This is G and I am B. Stands for Garlic and Brittany. But basically, if you guys are new here, there's two videos that we have uploaded and those two videos were regarding Scar biting Garlic in the face. And as you guys can see, Garlic has not one, but two scars from Scar. A lot of people, you know, called it dramatic and everything, but getting bit in the face by a dog is not your typical everyday prediction. So, and especially when you raise that dog since they were a puppy, it takes a toll on the way that you look at the dog. That and, was my buddy, man. And just everything in general, because that dog is not just a dog, it is your family. And a lot of dog owners can relate to this. If you're not a dog owner, then you don't know what I'm talking about. And maybe you do know what I'm talking about. Maybe you guys love dogs, but you don't have a dog, but... Let me say something. Some of you guys are saying, oh, it's Nitro that we gave away. And like some people are oh, very yeah, confused. They're, they're getting like, them confused. If you guys haven't watched and are not updated, do not comment because this is a very big deal to us. And I know it's not a big deal to you guys or the haters, I don't know. But those are our kids and we've lost the kid. And we've been listening to your guys' comments and like you guys are telling us to put them put him down, put him down. So we made a decision and this was like heartbreaking to us. But like you got your guys' comments got to us. And I don't know what to say. Bruh. My dog is gone! Shut up! But nevertheless, um Bro, who is at my door? Who is it? Uh, what is going on right here, bruh? Who is it? Bro, can you just open the door? <laughs> Who the fuck took the <laughs> shit right here? Today's video is sponsored by Sunday. So sorry that we have to stop the video right here, but we are so excited to talk to you about Sunday's food for dogs. Our dogs love this, and if you guys don't believe us, watch, we're gonna feed them right now. Yep. So once you turn the box around, there's a crossword puzzle on the back, which is pretty cool. It reminds me of like a cereal box. The other thing that I really, really do love about this brand is how easy it is to just close it. It literally just has like this little Velcro thing right here. And it's travel friendly, guys. It's healthy. It makes my dog's stomach not bloat. So we're going to give the dogs a cup each. Oh boy, come here. Are you hungry? Don't forget to use our code. Our code will be right here. And you can also click the link right there to use our code and buy your first bag. So that way you get 35% off. Look how fast they're going to devour this. Get it, boy. Go, oh, buddy. Bro, it's not going anywhere. It's affordable and it's convenient. It's easy to store, it's easy to put away. It makes my dog's stomach not hurt. So that's what I really, really do love about this food brand. Thank you so much, Sundays, and don't forget to use our code. Link in the description. As you've seen, and you're probably like, why the fuck is he back? If he bit you guys, yes. And you guys got pranked by the snippet. <laughs> it's GMB team all the way. Basically, Scar is back. And like I was saying, I know some of y'all are probably like, why is he back? Didn't he bite garlic? Like He's dangerous. But guys, we're going to explain to you guys why we got him back and where he was at the moment. We didn't give him to nobody. We didn't get rid of him. He went to boot camp. So the day he bit me, I was very angry at him. I didn't want to look at him. He was not my bestie anymore. I was very angry again. I felt betrayed. He went to our dog trainer, guys. And um, I just told him, like, he called me. He's like, should I just come in and get him? I'm like, yeah, I don't want to see him, you know, come grab him. Yeah. A lot of people are probably like, oh my God, like, 
How did the dog trainer even grab him? Scar knows the dog trainer, so that's why he doesn't like yeah. do anything. And Scar is very obedient, guys. The yeah, Let me tell you why he bit me. Me and Brittany like researched and like we weren't letting this go because I don't think he bit me out of like tried to like kill me. I think he yeah. bit me because he was on his back. I was kissing him again, same situation from the first. I was kissing him again, I was rubbing his belly, but his pupils were like dilated, full black. I looked in his eyes and I was like, in my head I was like, yo, I remember this look from the first time. It was like an unsure. Like yeah, unsure. So like, by the time I could even back away, boom, he just went snapped. Yeah. Grabbed my lip again and shit like, You can crazy. also feel the tension in the room or even the tension when you know that he's telling you. I don't know how to say it, like, for instance, if he's sitting on the couch and he wants to be left alone, don't go near him. That's what we learned. I didn't learn from the first time or the second time. I guess he likes his own space. And when I got in his personal bubble and I put my weight on him, he found that as a threat and he was in the bed, which is our bed, which he no longer has privilege to our bed. He's no longer sleeping with us. He's going to be sleeping in his crate. I guess Nitro kind of like annoys him, but the, he went to the dog trainer. So he's a lot better again. And he was so grateful to be home. He was jumping around. He was so happy, guys. You guys know Scar is not a normal dog. He is traumatized himself. And the way to work around a traumatized dog is you have to understand their boundaries. Me and Garik were... I'm going to be full on honest with you guys. We were going to give Scar away. And yeah. we were just like, you know what? It's for the best. It was 80% give him away. 30% yeah. 20% keep him. Yeah, literally. It was more, more of give him away. So then once we like read a couple of comments that were commenting saying like, oh, it's because of the bed. You guys should like look more into it. So then we did. And yeah, most of you guys are right. He found our bed to be um, his area. He was really possessive over our bed. As humans, as his owners, that's not right. He will no longer be sleeping in the bed with us. He loses a lot of privileges, yeah. you guys. He's just really unpredictable. Like, if he's laying on the couch like this, we know. Like, don't yeah. pet him, don't love him, like, don't. You can pet him, but you can't get in his face. Yeah, like, just don't get in his face. Look at his, like, look at his face right now. He's like. He's like, oh. But it's that thing that when he got attacked by those five, four pit bulls and one King Corso when he was four months old and they were all one years old, that's what like made him like not trust everything. Like he doesn't even trust his own dad. If that never happened to him, guys, he would be like the brightest dog. Like, look, he looks so nice. Yeah. He, Everyone always thinks he's a nice dog, but nah. He everybody, you. everybody thinks Nitro is is the, the mean, mean one. one. They think he's the nice one, and they know Zero is kind of like. This guy is... She knows she's crazy. They everybody guys, knows that she's crazy. He she's, got some hood in him. Yeah, he's the mean one in Nitro. Actually, Nitro okay. recently has been getting a little bit too much. So Nitro's actually getting fixed. Yeah, he's getting neutered because um, the balls is just making Scar, you know. I don't no, know. He just keeps Nitro, trying to flex on Scar. Yeah, Nitro keeps trying to fight Scar. And, and so it's not right. So we're going to get him fixed. And then after, they, after Nitro gets fixed, they are both being sent back to, to our dog trainer. To our dog trainer and... They're gonna work on some things so they can like, <clears throat> you know, fix their bond because their bond is not A1 right now. They are okay with each other and they can walk around each other and everything. But the minute that Nitro feels like he wants to claim a territory, he will go and flex on Scar. And then if let's say for instance, we're not looking, that could end up being a really bad situation. And Two yeah, male so dogs. before he bit me, um, he would always like correct Nitro in which oh, yeah. is like, if Nitro tried flexing on him, Scar would like murk him, like and then, like murk him. Yeah, but he wouldn't bite him. He, he wouldn't would bite like... him. So whenever I was on top of him, I guess he tried correcting me, but I'm a fucking human. And this is like gelatin, if they bite it. I guess like him like charging at me and doing that shit, he tried doing it because he does it to Nitro. There was incidents where Nitro would get attacked and Scar would like fuck him up and there was like small little bleeding yeah. like you know um but the times that scar would correct nitro there's two two different things a fight and a correction and a correction is basically when a dog either has different ways of there's different ways that a dog can correct so for instance like my girl dog she'll do this thing where she'll like slap mm -hmm. her paws and then she'll show her teeth and she'll go like that and it's to scare the dog and that's basically like a warning, like, like, leave me alone. If you don't, I'm going to correct you. So Scar's correction was to bite on the sides of the face. 
Scar doesn't like try to kill him, but yeah. If he wanted to, he could. Yeah, if he wanted to, he really could. The other thing is, Scar doesn't want to fuck up, and yeah. that's also what our dog trainer said too. That Scar doesn't want to fuck up. Anymore. He doesn't. Yeah, he like, doesn't. Like right now, he was sniffing Nitro's butt. Yeah, he. You could tell like he just doesn't want to lose us, us. again. Yeah. Boy. When Scar first came, we, we saw him because we went to Miami and we were giving our dogs to our dog trainer because we do board and training. And that was so sad. Was and like... Scar came and we said hi to Scar and a lot of you guys probably saw it on my story. And we saw Scar, you guys, and it was like our hearts just were like filled again. For the longest, like me and Gary couldn't like understand why we felt so empty. And yeah, if you like guys, guys don't know what I'm talking shit, about, dude. our house is not our house without our dogs it's scary obviously having scar back and our head is up a lot of the time and i would say like i feel like we both have ptsd from this and i know like some of y'all are gonna be like oh like why does she have ptsd it happened to him i have ptsd yeah so i know sure. like, does for sure zero tried kissing me and i went like, i flinched bro like, oh yeah i f i got my guard up like no matter if he's here and stuff i still do not trust him to the fullest yeah but we got to work around it and not get comfortable with him and he needs to be on his duties. We are going to be very strict with him. He still gets privileged like we gave him puppy patties the other day like, you know, if he does good, we reward him. But never want to bash Doberman breed. They're the in my opinion, the best dogs. The best dog breed ever. We are not going to give up on him. We are always going to be there for him. And later on in the future if we do have kids and we have a we get another house he's gonna be a backyard dog he is not gonna be able to come inside ever see our baby yeah we're maybe, gonna have boundaries maybe smell smell with a muzzle smell with the muzzle because you still need to introduce your child to your dog so that yeah. way they know okay this is my family but he's gonna this be, is who I need to be this is who i need to protect as well but he's gonna be permanently outside and yeah, if it's guys, really it's hot, just, he's gonna come inside. Or yeah. we're gonna build him an air conditioning in his house. He might build him a house. You never know. I'm a handyman. Um, I wanted to give you guys what our options were. So, first option was to give him away to a home, find him a really good home. But I feel like, and Brittany knows that I don't think Scar would settle with the new home, and he would probably yeah. bite again. And and, and knowing, they would probably put him down. And and knowing that we had a dog that's been given up on before and like he did it again that like that would honestly yeah, like that would break his I would heart. I, I would I would feel really bad cuz it's like fuck like you know like I I don't know I I just I feel like I would feel really bad and I would feel guilty because he's been rehomed before I feel like he just feels at home and his number one person yeah I'm just going to say person that makes him feel comfortable is Zira and yeah she's a dog but I swear you guys like he does not play with any other dog the way that he plays with Zira. Like, I kid you not. Arson's, Arson Our dog is, trainer has like 10 other dogs over there. Yeah. He doesn't play with any of them and, but Zira. Yeah, like, well he plays he might, with Yeah, them. he yeah, might he play, play with, with them, them, but not the same way that he plays extent. with To an extent, the way he plays with Zira is different. Yeah. But let me tell you guys our other option. Sorry, babe, for cutting okay. off. Um, so that was one option. The other option was to have our dog trainer keep him, but I feel like he has way too many dogs and you know, that's just not an option. It would be unfair to him. Yeah, it would be unfair to our dogs. Even trainer. though he, he told us that he, he didn't loves mind Scar. It's like keeping He loves our dogs. The other option was to wait till we get a home and leave him with the dog trainer until we get a big backyard so we could take him back. And which we, that was our option that we wanted to grab. But we went with option number four, which is we're gonna try to have him come back in our home we're not gonna wait till he bites me again or like yeah, you know no. i'm so, still gonna walk around him like ice so, so every so every other week he is gonna be going with the dog trainer yeah so he's gonna be here he's, but, he's on he's going to the army but every week he's going like every other week he's gonna be going with the dog trainer so that way he could still have his like you know boundaries set and that way he could still have his job because he, that's what he needs. He needs a job. He needs to be constantly doing something. <clears throat> I think the other thing that really messed Scar up was when we tried to put him in bite training. It's hard to put a dog into bite training that doesn't have self-confidence. Yeah. And Scar's self-confidence was very low and he was very yeah, he insecure. Walked head down. And so he was very insecure. And when we met up with the bite trainer, he had told us, look, this is serious. This isn't 
your typical lovey-dovey indoor dog. Like, this is bite training. Like, you're training your dog to kill a motherfucker. That's what he told us. We were like, okay, like, let's do it. And, he's, and I told him, like, you know, Scar is insecure. And he's like, well, that's, like, the best thing that you could have is an insecure dog because then you create your dog to be more confident. That's where we but, fucked up, though. That's but I feel like that's up. that's where we fucked up. Yeah, you're right. Is because we went backwards. Is Scar felt more insecure because he felt like people were always out to get him. And then from that instance where that do where those dogs attacked him, he did really him, good on his first day of bite training. Like he did really good. He wanted to kill him. After that, he just wanted to kill everybody. Everything. Like he bit Matt on his elbow, but that was because he was laying down at the mall and Matt walked behind him. Oh yeah, and, and he was kind of Star was sleeping. When Matt walked behind him, he went and like bit his elbow. And it was, that was like quick. He bit our friend Fallon. So sorry, Fallon. Um, I it was my fault. I I I was walking Scar. We were walking and um, Scar was right there and she tried petting him and it was really dark outside so he didn't know who it was. So this dumbass motherfucker puts his head, like he tricks, was okay them, with it. tricks them, once Fallon touched his head, rawr, boom, bit her leg. He gave her a scar, Matt has a scar. I was in um, the old movie room uh, with the white couch if you guys remember, in the old uh, office. I was sitting there, I just got my uh, Medusa tattoo right here. It was dark again and my friends were in the room and I walked to go get water from the But also Matt room. was right behind Scar. Yeah. And this is when Scar's sensitivity behind his leg was still a thing. Oh, when he got bit by the pit bulls. Because when so he got bit by the dog. He doesn't trust anything behind his back. Yeah, so every time that something comes behind his back, now now you could like yeah, touch now it. Cool. But sometimes he'll still like a little bit flinch. But before it was like if you touched it, he would like turn around you and be like like, 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 what the like fuck? quick, like like he would try to like bite. That's why he did it to Matt the first time. Was because his leash was kind of stuck to the chair and he was sleeping and when Matt had went behind him he didn't, he didn't know it was know Matt. It he was knows Matt. Who Matt is but he, he was sleeping and so when Matt went behind him he like touched his leg and he turned around and then just like quickly like he didn't he even look to see who it was he just like full like just like that's how messed up he is in the brain where like he, he's like he has scared. PTSD he has PTSD heavy yeah. so look so I went to go get water I accidentally stepped on his paw oh, and yeah. he he freaked out he thought he was like one of my friends or something and it was like dark and he bit my Medusa tattoo yeah but that was like I a like scar. like yeah, I have a scar on my tattoo somewhere in the tattoo. Oh, he bit Sep in the belly. We, I, I took him on my uh, birthday trip to uh, Big Bear. At this time, Scar and Sep had beef. Scar didn't oh, like yeah. Sep. Oh, yeah. For some reason, Sep, Sep is, and Scar. Sep is like Big Sep. For so. some reason, Sep and Scar had beef. Like For a minute. Like, Scar would sometimes just look at Growl Sep like... At him and shit. Like, he would just look at him like, I don't like, I don't like this motherfucker. Like, yeah, but now he loves Sep. And Sep yeah, loves now he Scar. loves Sep. But I guess um, he was trying to get around Scar and Scar just... Freaking <laughs> lunged at his belly. It's not funny, but it's like it's hilarious, bro. But he doesn't do that stuff anymore. We took him in training. We spent thousands of dollars for him to get trained. He bit me up there in our room. Oh, he it's... also bit Fabio, and we caught that on camera. Oh right? yeah, we caught that on camera. You guys, I think saw that. They saw that. Oh yeah, video. it's in our video where we went to the cabin with Tom and Fabio. If you guys want to go watch that, I'll put it at the end of today's video, guys. If you guys want to go watch it, it's at the end of today's video. But you could hear Fabio yelling and start going and the back. It's it's hilarious. Go watch it. But I guess Fabio was feeding him turkey, and after he gave him the turkey, he petted him. He petted and, him under, yeah, the, under chin. the chin. So I think Scar thought he was, he was trying, trying to take the, food, take out the out food out of his mouth. So he went and bit Fabio in his butt. Oh, yeah, Fabio. He's like given so many like, people scars, and his name is Scar. We literally so he lived like, up to his, he name, lived up to his guys, name. Like, and thank you to all the people that didn't sue us. We love you guys. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna disagree with us and be like, oh, like, you know, I really hope a lot of you guys don't sit here and fucking say like, oh, he's gonna bite Garak again. Like, please, please guys, don't comment that positive. stupid shit. Please don't comment that stupid shit on my video. Like, like respectfully, I'll block you. Don't comment that shit because no matter what you say, you're manifesting it. And I don't want to hear none of that shit because I don't want to have my fiance go through that pain again and then us really lose our dog. This is the last time and like i said we're not waiting till he bites garg again we like, are working around it we're we are working gonna around try. if it gets hard we will send him back to the dog trainer until we get a house with the backyard simple as of right now that's our decision guys and we love everyone that's so positive and is with us we love you guys so much we love the haters too you guys could say whatever you want but this is my buddy i'm not gonna take him away from his wife and his kid downstairs <laughs> like he doesn't even well, know that's his kid he bro. says fuck his kid but Zira yeah. is literally his best friend and is everything and we are not gonna put him down take his life away I'm not gonna take his life away 
we just love our dog you guys and we're still giving him his personal space like if like for instance how you guys saw him over there we don't bug him we let him go in his his own area we don't go and push him to come and lay with us we don't kiss him like we don't do none of that like i told garlic multiple times like to stop like don't kiss him in the face like it is what it is i don't kiss him in the face anymore you guys like i've just i even though no he more. hasn't bit me I just, I don't kiss him in the face. When we first brought him back home, though, I got so fucking scared. Oh, because we had to shower him because he was very dirty. Oh, yeah, he was dirty. And so I got scared because I washed him. And I told Garth, like, I'll wash him because he doesn't act that way with me. But you never know, you know? You never know. So we were, I was giving him a bath, and I was scrubbing his face, and then I was going to his ears. And then he had, like, a blister on his ear, and I didn't know. And so when I went to go scrub it, he, like, had cried. But he was just like, ah! And I, guys, like, I fucking flinched so hard. And he just, You're probably like, bro, and he just cried and, like, looked at me like, uh, like, what are you doing? Like, he was just like, ah. And I was like, oh, fuck. And I just, like, and I, like, moved and I was like, bro, oh, my You're naked, right? God. Yes. Your boobs probably jugged all over what the place. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> but, guys, look. You're fucking stupid. Ow! We want to give a big shout out to Aaron, our dog trainer. We will put the Instagram right here. And we'll also put it them. in the link in the description down below. Best dog trainer ever. Especially for Dobermans, you guys. Especially for a Doberman. I don't know how many Dobermans he has exactly. I think around, like, not 30 that are staying with him. But he has, like, I think, like, 30 that he, like, has. Very good dog trainer. Recommend. Huge recommend. But thank you, Aaron, again. Your family to us. If you guys are in the bro. LA area. Um, he also has... If you guys don't remember Shy C. Oh yeah, which is Scar's daughter. Which is Scar's daughter. He also has her. So our our dogs, well he, he has her, like he kept her. So our dogs all get to see each other, which is like Amazing. exactly what I wanted. That's like how, what I had said in the beginning was like, I don't want my dogs to be like split up forever and never get to see each other. But Scar, I guess, doesn't know that it's his daughter. Zira knows and Nitro knows that it's his sister because ever yeah. since that they were like really little, there was Kobu, Nitro, and Vitani was her name before Shiesty. We might go on a hike with Erin with all the dogs. So yeah, stay we'll tuned vlog, for that maybe. We'll vlog you guys that want to see that? Guys. Comment down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, the sit down talk, and I'm so glad to have my buddy home. And um, hopefully it stays like this. If not, we might give him back to the dog. We'll update you guys, dog trainer, until we get a house with the backyard. But I feel like we will get a house soon. Because we are looking at options and comment down below if you guys want us to move to Vegas. Honestly, just stay home all the time as well. I feel like we just kind of want like a backyard with a pool, yeah, a big enough tan. space, oh, a big enough space for the dogs to just enjoy their time. They need more space. Like this is not enough. It goes upwards, not this way. So, yeah. you know what I mean? You guys um, will see that vlog soon. We are planning on making a trip out to Vegas to, check to out houses. look at a, look at a couple of houses. The one thing though that just like truly sucks is like the main reason why we want like a big entertainment area is because Garik's like friends always come. Yeah. And like my, my family, Vegas. it would just suck like that me and Garik are there alone, you know? But I know that they would probably make a trip to come out, you know, like you know, like every other weekend, every you know? Blue moon probably. We're still trying to look for houses around the area, but I shall miss your pops. Guys, do not kiss him. He doesn't like it. Guys, he doesn't like it. Bro, okay, can you leave him alone? <laughs> All right, guys, we love you guys. Stay safe, and we'll catch you on the next one. And let us know some other locations that you think that we should move to, and we'll go and check out some houses. See you guys. I love you guys. Peace. Peace. G Team all the way. <laughs>